G'day. People often say to me, John, how do I go about launching my kite properly? Nah, they don't. No one's ever asked me that. I just like making videos. This is how I do it. Right, what we need is one kite. Some handy weights. They can be bottles of water if you're down the beach. They can be sand. Uh, anything you like. They're those little pebbles that you use in mulching pot plants and stuff. I just bought them at the hardware shop and stuck them in a couple of canvas little bags. A whacker and a stake. Now, I usually, if it's not too windy, lay my kite out so that trailing edges into the wind and dump me weights on it. Now that way the wind sort of can't get underneath it, it's pretty safe, I can leave it like that and untangle me lines. Someone on the Power Kite Forum gave me this neat idea of using a sock to figure eight them around. That works pretty well. And my lines have never complained about being cold. Now I usually stake the brakes. And I do that. Red on the left. Blue, green, whatever other colour on the right. And I normally put my stake through the two brake lines like that. There you go, hook your brakes around the stake. Dune, unfold your kite. And as I've staked the brakes, that should sit there fairly happily. Now at this point you'd put your kite killers on or whatever. I've had this rigged up on a, uh, a strop and a pulley so I haven't been using it with kite killers. Make sure your lines are not crossed. That looks pretty good. Brakes towards the kite. Up she goes. It's not very windy today. Now notice I keep the brakes pointed towards me, just in case I can't accidentally fly up into the air until I'm ready. Release the brakes by pointing your brakes towards the kite. Pull back on your power lines, up she goes. Very little wind, come on. And away we go. Hey, there's some wind. Alrighty. Lovely little kite, the Hornet. Three metres got enough punch to get your bug in with a bit of wind behind it. Steers quite nicely, that's the front lines. I've got the brakes pretty slack there. Add a touch of brake and it really zips around. Lovely. Alrighty, when it's time to put it down, find me steak. Pull both brakes towards you and just jiggle it. Try and keep it level, land on its bum. Takes a bit of doing. Not like that. Ah, oh, now if your kite lands upside down, tops towards the kite, pull your brakes, it'll come up, let it float over, and then you can pull your, your tops again. Now I've got a twist in the line, but that doesn't matter. I'll just flip around and untwist it. If I go the wrong way, I just go the other way. If the wind's a bit strong, 
you can just turn underneath the kite like that. By the way, good tip, don't do that with your handles, keep them together. If you are going to get a, a twist out of your lines, keep your handles together like that and then twist them both. Where's my stake? There it is. Pop both your brakes around the stake, like that. Both your brakes around the stake, like that. Your kite weights. Now if it's reasonably windy, what I tend to do is I grab the edge of the kite, walk into the wind, and let it billow out behind you. That's got no power. Even quite large kites in reasonably big wind, it seems to be the safest way to handle them. Pop the edge over, stick my weights on, and that's really not going anywhere. I just tend to drop them on the kite. There's no open ends there so they don't get tangled. Now if it's windy, just make sure the wind doesn't get under this end. You can keep your knee on it. I use the folder in half. Fold in half again. I keep a weight or your knee on the kite so it doesn't get on the kite so it doesn't get. And if you're lazy, you can just grab one of the brakes there and pull the other end towards you. And last but not least, hold on half that away. Trailing edge again into the wind, pop your weights on it. And that's pretty safe now for me to go and roll my lines up. Well, I've found the best way for me to wind up my lines is figure eighting, which is a little tricky around the handles because there's not a lot for the, uh, the figure eights to sort of stick to. So, some clever person on PKF suggested a sock. And a sock works really well. Thanks for that tip. If you've got kite killers, you can wrap them around your handles and put the sock over the whole lot. Now I tend to find if I spread them just a little bit in there, it gives somewhere nice for the line to sit in, both ends. And then I can figure eight around the whole lot. And if you're clever you can do a bit of a half hitch with the lines to hold everything together. Or if you're a real lazy bugger like me you can just chuck a couple of rubber bands around it to hold everything in position. there, roll the whole lot up, pop it in the oven at 180 degrees for 35 minutes and it'll be beautiful, freshly baked Peter Lynn Hornet 3 metre, mmm yummy.